everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. They match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, it's been a lost first month of the season, that's for sure, as they come in with an 0-4 record. And the window's not shut on them, though. They still have a chance to make something out of this season, but it has to start right now. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot. And got his man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. That one goes for 36 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. Partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And that'll set him back five. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Four down, four down. Got... Now Brady on the bootleg. Buying time to his left. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it's second down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. And a little floater up incomplete falling to the ground Kayvon Webster on the defensive side able to get a hand in nice play there to force the incompletion and to me one thing's for sure when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road you absolutely have to get takeaways you've got to get the ball from them yeah win that turnover battle gonna be key they didn't get one there but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that they might just get a few yeah once you get one defensive teams think they come in bunches and it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Looking deep downfield here for Decker. Decker's got it. Touchdown, New England. His first touchdown on the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. With these Thursday night games, sometimes you get those quick turnarounds. You wonder how a team is going to start. They started really well. Everyone's always wondering, going into a Thursday night game, who has their legs, who has a, you know the overall health of a team. But mentally, if you get that early edge, the other team might think to itself, ah, oh, it's been a short week. We're not really ready to go. You might run them into the ground that way. That's why getting that early score means a lot. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. That's 
extra point good by Goskowski. And it's now a 7-0 game. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Uses the stiff arm. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Deron Harmon makes the tackle. Here's the offense, and if you're the defense, Charles, you really have to focus on that guy that's highlighted on the screen. You're talking about pure speed. T.Y. Hilton can get down the middle of the field and really stretch a defense. On second down, here's Locke. Over the middle, complete. That's Doyle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A look at the numbers for Doyle from a week ago. Five catches, 89 yards. When you turn in good, consistent performances each and every week, you will rank in the top 10 in the league in receiving yards. And he's number seven currently, hoping to move up as time goes on. Now a play fake, and it's locked. It's a Patriot sack. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Third and long, it's locked. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And now running right through it. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady again here on second and ten. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. His tight end, Dwayne Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Jabal Sheard coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. That's a good sign early for the Colts, who had just 25 sacks last season. People talk about putting an emphasis on an area of need. That's showing that the emphasis is paying off. Going ahead and getting to the quarterback early. When you only have 25 sacks in a season, that's not going to get you to the playoffs. That was 31st in the league. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and 
He's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. Play fake here on first down. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be taken down deep into Indianapolis territory. Brady to Hogan for a big one. 46 yards. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there, for a big gainer. That's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change-up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change-up, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Now Brady. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. Brady will try again on second down. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. Out to his left. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. So typically you'd say nice job defensively to force a decision on fourth down, but they've already gone for it once and converted, so you better make sure your defense stays out on the field and is alert. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan, his second touchdown on the season, and the Patriots add on to their lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal. Did that look like an easy three points? Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And the Colts getting ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Back to the air, Luck on second down. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It's a gain of five on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. 
they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Lump, and this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 21. On first down, Brady. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. There defensively was Matthias Farley to knock it away. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. On play action, now Brady. The throw left side complete to Hogan. Now he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Play action, now it's Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hogan. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first and 10, here's Brady. Looking for White on the deep ball. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Now Brady. Dancing to his left. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right, not to be. Go, They'll go. go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. On play action, it's Brady. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Man, a tough spot to drop that down here, third and goal. And so many times when you analyze a play like this, you talk about the people around him and maybe his focus was gone. Sometimes just simply him understanding how close he is to the end zone and a chance to score, and he tightens up and doesn't complete the play. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. 
Yeah, you're not got too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Now the fourth-year man from Texas A&M, Kristen Michael. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So we've reached halftime here at... J All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Adrian Claiborne in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. From the gun on third down, Locke. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. And they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they've rallied and made the tackle. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Spinning past him. A second spin. Turning and turning and turning. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, had its third down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. And this is taken in at the five. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. One receiver left, three to the right. Brady. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Brady going to throw. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. 
on plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And the Cramps coming out now. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. To throw on second down is long. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I gotta get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering where it's gonna go good or bad for your team. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the... Back now in Foxborough. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. On first and ten, Locke. And a pass complete to Ryan Grant. And it's a fumble. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Luck now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now a first down throw, Locke toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. That'll bring up second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks... They'll miss up 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Here's Locke. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. Let's go. So after the INT, it's Brady. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Brady now to throw. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Let's go! 
They go play action here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Eric Decker, his second touchdown of the night. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? So now Brady and the Patriots going for two. Again, it's Brady. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be taken short. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And they'll start on the ground with Hines. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Delay of game, offense. Here's Luck now on second down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. The Colts on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. A shotgun snap for Love. And that is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Throwing his Love. And Love will be intercepted for a third time. Devin McCourty picks it off. And now out come the Patriots. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe, you know, you've taught me this before, maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? 
I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he'll go out of bounds down inside the 15-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Brady going to look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. A first carry now for Rex Burkhead. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Now Brady. And caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Patriots add six to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Goskowski with the extra point, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. What, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. On second down, here's Love. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 16. And he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return. But no matter, they've got the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The drive starts with a run by White. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. 
And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column too. So for the Pats, they moved back over 500 at three and two now on the year.